Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever we're of you. Welcome back to the Beat Up Plan as we return to Sanitarium. And we have gone from man to woman to monster to statue? Oh well, let's see if I am as solid as before with the gameplay. Let's first uh, talk to th this one, at least I assume so I can talk to her. Here is the woman whose magic summoned me. Oh yes, of course, we can only talk to her if we're below her. Old woman, what is your station? By the great spirit, you have arrived. I thought your arrival to be merely a vision, but here you stand. Oh, Mech, the holy warrior. Praise the gods. Still your tongue, old crone. I asked your station, what is it? Forgive me. My name is Titio. I am the village oracle. If this is Olmec, I think that people that have played Spelunky would uh, have their eyes opened wide a little bit at that moment. I, to be honest, I don't know exactly how Olmec should look. Although I like a lot of mythology and I am familiar with the name and the god, I am actually kind of unknown what his normal features are. Why have you come to greet me, old one? Where is the village chieftain? He is repairing the village, great one. Forgive us, for we are few in number. What of this village? Why was I summoned? It is Quetzalcoatl, holy one. He has returned. What nonsense is this? He sits on his majestic throne in the heavens, not in this pathetic dung heap of a village. No, oh, no, no, sacred one. He truly has returned, just as prophesied on the wall of sorrow. Quetzalcoatl, by my knowledge, is not a mean god. I thought he was the patron of bards. Am I completely compunkers when I said that to someone? If you speak the truth, then I must see him. Where is he? He stands atop the angry mountain, your grandness. He is using his magic to bring forth the blood of the land to kill us all. Hmm. The Jaguar Temple still stands? Yes. It withstood both the flood and the rock slides. He intends to melt the very stones of the temple itself with the blood of the angry mountain, destroying what's left of the village. Your tale told of the shaven head Otanmi warriors. Where are they? Quetzalcoatl slaughtered them as if they were children. And now their shades roam the land, trapped here by his wicked magic. Shades, eh? Can they not fight still in these new forms? Nay, fearless one, they are but lost souls, trapped between life and death. Their inability to battle their foe has driven them mad. They randomly craze things in the voices of ghosts. Well, we have talked to a lot of crazy things. Perhaps we can make some sense out of them. So I assume this is the wall? The wall of sorrow. Yep. Images which tell the story of this village. The wall of sorrow. Okay, I thought I could get a closer look. For a moment I would like to talk to one of these guys. These people have called me. I heard their voices. And I cannot talk to them. Alright, well... I... Don't see something I can take along with me because I doubt I can take along the fire. Do I have a statue, of course. These are the sacred fires. These are the sacred fires. There is one of them, by the way. One of those ghost warriors. Why is this one out? Oh, doesn't seem to be something special. This water is impure. A waterfall demonstrating the raw power of nature's gods. This water is impure. I did not click on the water, to be honest, or at least I wasn't trying to click on the water. 
His soul still dwells here. Good. Now we can talk to him. Let's see... Where are we going to stand? Spirit, what say you? Shame. Eternal shame. Died in vain. That's not true. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? I said Son of Tetsukatl? Yes, wise elder. What was your station as warrior spirit? Veteran of many battles, younger brother of Mixkatl. Why do you hang your head in shame, brave one? Good. Not defeat one warrior. All our clan failed to stop just one man. Hmm. What have you done, Dr. Morgan? At least I'm just gonna assume it's Dr. Morgan again. Hey. How do we get to you? you, because that's definitely something I need to touch, I have the feeling. This water is impure. I'm... He too has been slain by the evil god. Spirit, what say you? Failed. All. Oh. Could not defeat one. Do you judge yourself a failure? How can that be when you have died in honor on the battlefield? Honor not! Failed village! Defeated by only one man! What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Mixcon! Elder's War Chief! Elder Brother 2! Witzelah! Yes, I spoke to him before. You were the war chief? Yes. Victorious in many battles. What was your station as warrior, spirit? He just said that. War chief. Eldest warrior. And leader of clan. What? More information we cannot gather from him. Uh, whoa! Ah, Wetzelquatl has desecrated the bodies of such honorable warriors. Many have been sacrificed on this spot. Some for good, some for evil. Did this statue's eyes open as I enter the circle? I had the feeling they did. I saw another ghost, don't worry, I saw him, but I'm... They have honored Quetzalcoatl with this statue, and he repays them with destruction. Hmm. Well. This spirit is restless for justice. Spirit, what say you? Village doomed by dishonor. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Omitok, the fierce one. How did you earn such a title, Shade? Fought like wild jaguar in battle. What was your station as warrior, spirit? New blood, young to tribe. Yet, not the youngest, older than silver men. The fact that they all stink their age gives me the feeling that I have to do something later with that. Fear not, young warrior. The village is not doomed as long as I draw breath. So thought our clan. Quick to battle. Did we 
run quick to die. Hold on, uh, let me just quickly get the name what again. Did you Omata. Okay, and he's one of the youngest we know, but he's older than who then? What was your Xilonon. Okay, I got them. And it was Mixototl or something like that, and uh, Hilo to whoop or something like that. Sorry, I may not be able to pronounce these names ever correctly. This one appears to have died very young. Oh, well, that's it. Oh, come on. Here, now the eyes are closed again. Big head. See? Now they Big open. Head. Interesting. Spirit, what say you? On battle, died, never to see honor on battlefield. I'm gonna say he's Xilonan. What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Yes. Xilonan, the youngest warrior of clan, unproven. Was this but your first battle? And last, never to fight again. What was your station as warrior, spirit? Youngest of clan, fierce I fought, but no avail. Dead, same as all. Honor comes with courage, young spirit. Your courage at such a young age is honorable. Walk with head held high. Cannot dishonor or die in first battle. Curse me for eternity. Hmm. Bit doom and gloom here, isn't it? Well, let's see if we can uh, bring them some rock solid morale. An unhappy spirit. Spirit, what say you? What name did you go by in this world, fallen hero? Fisherman? Yes, and warrior, and husband. Who was your wife? She who has my heart. I meant her name. What is her name? nonsense is that? Look, I may be rock solid, but it doesn't mean I just hammer in on everything. Wait, man, what am I with the cheesy jokes today? Why do you stand here, fallen one? What does this totem mean to you? Stand where I fall. Temple of wind protects even in death. I mean no harm to the temple. I am Olmec, holy warrior. Lies and deceptions, like the evil one, none may pass, all seek to destroy. You are confused, lost warrior. I speak the truth. Quetzalcoatl is my enemy as well. Step aside so that I may visit the temple. Prove, prove words, true, act of faith. Perform the test before I grant passage. All right. I accept your challenge, Shade. What will be this test of faith? If never given, I... Wait, and first you didn't want to tell me her name, and now you go 180 degrees and want me to bring her a gift. That's a bit weird, my friend. A gift for your wife? Of what kind? 
circles, neck. A necklace? Simple enough. I will find one for her and... How special is this? Crafted for her. Make her craft it. True words be true. What was your station as a warrior, spirit? So, Xulon is the youngest, then Omatok, then Tuppet Talk, Hiruotwop, and then Mixup Tottle, or somewhere these brothers at least go in there. Alright, uh, can I go to this side? Because I don't know if this is then the Wind Temple. But this to me seems like a temple, rather, but. He says I cannot enter. Most sacred warrior, you must find blood that springs from a holy heart, and a heart which does not bleed. Place these two offerings in the bowls before you, and then you may enter the temple of the Jaguar. Which is more or less my blood, because I have a heart that doesn't bleed. And I am a holy warrior, am I not? Alright, well, um... We have some assignments, that's good. Now, I can't pick up the... What I thought was to be a coconut. Well, that perhaps may be the wrong hemisphere. Oh my god! The Holy One's power must be great indeed. Yeesh! Simple pottery. The Unholy One's power must be great indeed. Man! Simple pottery. Well, um... <laughs> Simple pottery. An empty copper bowl. It must have been used for sacrifices. Well, let us talk to these people over here. After all, the first episode in a new chapter always is a little bit about discovery. A truly venerable woman. Old woman, what say you? Hmm. I see the oracle was successful in summoning you. Although at this point, I don't see much use in it. The damage has been done. You have no purpose here. What do you mean by that, bitter crone? I am Olmec. I fight for the gods themselves. You sound as zealous as my husband, the fool. Oh, Tepetuk? What man would be man enough to wed your sour tongue, old one? Ha! Huh. Ezekato, the witch is my husband. He fathered two fine warriors with me, and now he runs to meet death's embrace. Meanwhile, I must sit obediently while he throws away his life on a fool's errand. Oh, a man as a witch? Huh. What errand do you speak of? He plans on fighting that bastard. Undead king using his small magic. He is doomed, and will die in vain. Oh, and there was no way you could keep him near you? Oh. Where are your two sons? Did they die in battle? Yes. Quetzalcoatl shattered their bodies as though they were made of straw. Soon my fool husband will join them, and I'll be truly alone. I assume that that is Mixer Cuttle and Holuotup. What is that you are mixing? Nothing important, Holy One. Just a simple balm for my aching bones. Age has not been kind to me. Well, I'm sure that at a certain point we might need that, but... <laughs> Can one woman's sorrow be so great? Yes. The fact that you questioned that already is heartless. Woman, what say you? Why do you weep so? <laughs> Forgive me, Holy One, for not showing you the proper respect. But I am racked with grief over the loss of my husband. 
He died in the battle with Quetzalcoatl. Beautiful face, I must say. Who was your husband? His name was Tepic Talk. He was a warrior, but also the village's best fisherman. He lived off the gifts of the sea and devoutly worshipped the goddess of water. The cool walls of the water temple were to his liking, and he often spent his days in deep meditation and prayer there. I have seen that the water temple is flooded. Yes, by the evil one's doing. Quetzalcoatl called down a wave of water to destroy it, but it still stands proudly in the water. Hmm. <laughs> Why does this woman worry so? Woman, what say you? Olmec, you have come to us. Thank the gods for our prayers have been answered. Yes, your prayers reach me and I am here. What is your station? I am the wife of the chieftain. Ah, chieftain, uh... Mixuato. Why was your husband spared Quetzalcoatl's wrath? Huh? He was praying inside the temple of the Jaguar when the Evil One came. By the time the echoes of death reached him, the battle was over. He emerged to find nearly the entire village destroyed. He was bound by tradition to become chieftain. Thus he cannot attack Quetzalcoatl, and now he broods in a dark mood. He sees himself a coward for not being able to die in battle with the others. Ooh. What happened during the battle? At first, when we saw our revered king back from the land of the dead, we were overjoyed. We thought he had come back to lead us to great victories. Instead, he came to destroy us. Although our warriors fought fiercely, Quetzalcoatl scattered them like broken twigs. After they had been killed, he unleashed his dark magic on us. What magics did he wield? He caused a massive wave to come down and crush the Temple of Water. He caused the earth to shake violently. The mountain broke apart and almost crushed all the huts, bearing the Temple of Wind. Only the Temple of the Jaguar withstood his power. You speak of tradition as though it is undesirable. Your husband should be honored to be chieftain. But Olmec, oh wise one, it was never his desire to become chieftain, especially not this way. Working with the earth and revealing the secrets it hid inside brought him great joy. Who remains in the village? There are but a handful of us left. My husband does what he can to repair the damage of the walls of the huts, but his mind is elsewhere. The death of our beloved daughter weighs heavily upon him. She was killed in the battle? My husband insists that she was crushed beneath the boulders which destroy the village walls. You speak as though you disbelieve your own words. I cannot help myself. I somehow feel that she still lives. Alright, someone to save. <laughs> and there is the Chieftain, the last one we need to talk to, I believe. And then we will have to call an episode. This lonely worker appears strong and proud. You there, what is your station? I was the stonemason. Now I am village chief. What are you? And why do you enter this village? I am Olmec. Holy warrior, you dare address me in that tone? I do. You may frighten the others, but you'll get no such satisfaction from me. Where were you when we needed you most? Your arrival now means nothing to me. You're too late. Hmm. You say I am late, but you are wrong. Is that so? My precious daughter lies crushed beneath these rocks. The day Quetzalcoatl arrived, I pray to your god with all my heart. You come to us now. The warriors are dead. The temples are in ruins. My daughter is dead. You say your daughter is dead. How do you know? She was in her hut when the rocks fell. Look around you. Death is everywhere. I've lost everything that is dear to me. Uh, your wife? Dude! 
That was harsh. You say you were the stonemason? Yes, that is my trade. Like my father before me, and his father before him, I work the earth, shaping it to my will. I am a simple craftsman who now rules what's left of this village. A heavy burden on my weary shoulders. There are worse fates, Mason. I know. I have seen what happens to those who oppose Quetzalcoatl's rule. His punishment is swift and severe, in death as it was in life, when he ruled this village as king. Yes, but he was just and true back then, not this abomination which has returned to destroy us. We revered him when he was of flesh and bone, and upon his death, we crafted a tomb as a monument to his greatness. I myself crafted the stones and jewelry he was adorned with. You know what? Perhaps I'm mixing up two names because of what? Hmm, I'm positive. This Quetzalcoatl is probably something else, but I thought it was like a flying serpent full of feathery wing colors, but they speak of him as referred. I do not know if the... Oh dear. South American gods, let's keep it safe, ever came to them in human form. Mason, I would have a word with you. I have spoken with the spirit of Tepetuk, warrior and husband to Kalki Hut. The fisherman? His spirit remains here? Yes. You have the necklace that belongs to his wife. Give it to her, or I will shatter your limbs like twigs. Very well. Tell your spirit I will deliver his gift. Um, well, we got at least something done by the means of threatening someone who's lost a lot. I feel like a brick. I mean prick. <laughs> I can't help it, people. It's the cheesy jokes today. But with that, I say, I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril, you great beauty.